Um, this is Claw's review, season six. Um, no, 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 no. Damn, 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 damn. damn. Not season six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, um, you know, season three, episode six. So, uh, mm, it looks like we returned back from last week. Yeah, yeah. Last week when um, Desna ready to pop off. Pop, pop, pop. Desna ready to go in. She said, fuck all that. I'm going to go to the casino, bust in the Kill Mac, boom. Kill Melba, boom. Get my brother, put him in a chokehold, bring him home so he can be happy again. That's at least that's what she want to do, but that, that ain't gonna happen. Um, <laughs> old Roller, play Roller seemed like he moved in just in time, didn't he? Roller says no, Desna. You know he tells he tries he comes her down and you know tells her that that's not the best thing that they should do. So, you know, she comes into her senses and, um, but they got to come up with a plan or else, like Desna say shit, they're going to be on section eight, you know, staying in that high, high, you know, that, that, that luxury apartment that she live in, you know what I'm saying? Like how she going to pay her bills? You know, she's saying that at, at the salon, you know, that's not enough. She needs, you know, some more income, you know, coming in or whatever. So you know, Desna always thinks of a plan, so this right here doesn't shock me. Um, but the second thing is her dad. You know, dad comes over, you know, he's seeing that his his daughter, you know, he's like, oh, Desna, I see you really, you know, you coming up. You know, you done came up, look at my daughter, you know. You know, and Desna is really concerned about D. Dad is like, fuck all this. I lost my job. They ain't believe my little drug story. That's cool because I was going to retire anyway. So, Dad, you know, he not really bothered with that. But he wants, you know, like, damn, Disney, y'all just got into my life. I need for y'all to, you know, still be in my life or whatever. So, he wants Desna to move in with him. And he got a beach house, Desna. And, you know, she wants, of course, she Dean has to come Wherever she goes, you know, that's a package deal is her and Dean. So, um, she goes to the casino, tries to tell Dean. Dean ain't hearing it. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. the name of the game is Manjon. Manjon, I guess it's like a, I don't know. It's sort of like playing rummy. I don't really play rummy either, so I don't know, but maybe like dominoes or rummy or something like that but uh it seems like it's a chinese or asian game that they play it's like dominoes or something like that but anyway so doesn't go talk to him he ain't trying to hear it you know you just trying to ruin my life and you know uh mac and melba has really got into his head you know what i'm saying so she go back to the salon. She talks to the girls. And Virginia's like, yeah, he just jumped out the car and got in the other car and went right back to the casino. So, you know, Virginia goes down there, poke thing. Dean was like, I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear from you. I thought you pulled a support. Like, that right there was some mind game shit to me. I'm like, support you. Fool, you been in the damn casino, like, forever. How the hell am I support you? You down here. So, anyway, so Dean break up with Virginia. Virginia is broke. It's Virginia is broken hearted. Mm. Yeah. And then Dean said, you know what? Fuck all this. I'm finna just move into the casino. So, now he living in the casino. And, um... I just want to know how long that's going to last. I, when Dean finds out, because, you know, you know, Dean already done killed somebody. So, you know, man. Or, you know, Mac might, either Mac going to really, like, be really into him. Like, not be into him, but, you know, see it more than, you know, them trying to scam. Because, I mean, there's not already, she gave up the damn casino. So, what else could they want from 
um, from Dean. But I think Mac really, you know, really likes Dean. But it's Melba who's like, look, this is just a job. We're trying to, you know, do something. So don't be trying to be that too clinging to him. But what they end up doing, he's, Mac is so attached to Dean is that they do this whole presentation thing. They tell Dean that they were not able to have kids. And they do this whole presentation thing where, you know, Melba, she in this big dress and she got her a machine and <laughs> Dean, he comes, he comes down this little shoe hole thing or whatever as if he's been rebirthed. And so that's his being rebirth. Meanwhile, Melba, she almost dies during childbirth. She falls out. Dr. Ken, he's there with his psoriasis boo. And um, he asked for some type of injection shit. Everybody had that damn. <laughs> Everybody had an injection. They threw it. And, you know, they brought old, they brought old Melba back to life. And he was, and Mac was like, oh, my God, honey, you almost died during childbirth. What kind of shit I did what? Kind of shit. Lord have mercy. Okay. Uh. Mm. So, um, <laughs> we healing people, y'all. We healing people. You know, Uncle Daddy got his little session going and we healing people left and right, day and night, you know, and he's beginning to get a liking to old, uh, 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 what's her name? Shit. He's beginning to get a liking to old Brenda. Oh yeah, he even he even asked Brenda on a date, you know, and um, they have a date at the casino. Everything going good and everything. You know, Uncle Dad, he has been single for a while. I think it is time for him to kind of move on and find him a someone to settle down with. You know, someone to you know watch TV and. Whatever that, they got the same hobby and whatever. She said, I like, you know, you know, I really like staying at home and and working on some some shit, she, some type of rug and that damn plant that you cut. I can't think of the name of it. I forgot the damn name. So he said, well, what do you know? I didn't know you like that. I do the same thing. So now that, you know, they got something in common and I just. I don't know how that goes. I guess, no, they're not related. Cause that's, that's Jan's mom and then that's Uncle Daddy. So, I mean, hopefully that work out for him. You know, but Dr. Ken let him know, hey, look now, you around here healing folks. But Dr. Ken can't take his psoriasis boo out like he want to now. The money ain't, he say, he, you know, he's going to hop on down there to Peter Pan if 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 Uncle Daddy don't find a you know, solution to bring some more money in there, it's all right that you healing folks, but you know I need some healing money too. You know some money would would do some healing to my to me too. So you know, so you know, hey, good for Uncle Daddy. I'm I'm, I'm good, good for him. He moving on healing folks, and and in the midst he healing himself too. So you know Virginia, you know she's looking. Virginia looking through her phone and she's looking at the pictures of her and Dean. Mm. Her nails are beautiful, by the way. I love them. I love nail art. I love it. It's beautiful. So she's looking and um, she's looking through her phone and of the pictures of her and Dean. And so who calls her EJ? Eric. But I thought Eric was gay. I didn't know that. I'm confused now. So maybe that wasn't his lover. I thought he said baby for some reason. I don't know about that, y'all. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. That right there, that kind of confused me a little bit. So anyway, um, so he calls and she goes over his house and you know, she just, at that time, you know, she feeling low and she needed somebody to talk to. And um, Jan, she walks in and, you know, she kind of get a little jealous or whatever. Not jealous, but I guess, yeah, jealous. And, 
she seemed like really betrayed really quickly. And um, she's talking, the next scene, she's talking to Bryce. And Bryce like, look, you sound a little jealous. You know, look in Virginia. Virginia just, you know, got out of a relationship. Dean just broke up with her. So maybe she needed somebody to talk to. And then, <laughs> so that really got, you know, Jan to thinking. And so Jan, you know, she went to... Um, she went back to Virginia, gave her her blessings, told her, oh, but I still have herpes. And, and and did you follow me on Instagram? Because, you know, when she confronted her at EJ House, she was like, do you follow me on Instagram? Have you seen my pictures? And Virginia was like, no. <laughs> and then she told her, she was like, I, I hope you get my herpes. And they haven't even, I don't even think they even went, they just still in the talking phase. So, when she, um, so when Jan came to the nail salon the next day to, you know, apologize and, you know, give her her blessing, she was like, girl, you, you really got herpes? She was like, oh, yeah. She said, oh, yeah, I, I, I really do have the herpes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. So they, I don't know if they, I don't think they're going to be in a relationship. Um, I don't think they're going to too much being in a, in a, in a relationship. I, I I surely doubt that that they be in a relationship. The, the scenes with um Roller you know I, I want to get on the scenes with Roll with Polly and Roller with them talking or whatever and I think that the reason why she talks to Roller because in re, I think for some reason he can he can kind of relate to old Joe, you know. Rolo's a killer, you know. And polish her she been she been killing. So I don't see why she just don't want to be with him. Cause I mean, didn't she kill somebody? I can't remember. But Polly shit stealing all that money and all that shit, all that shit down the same damn path. So you know, I don't, I don't see why not. Shit. So anyway. Hmm. Then, you know, old Joe, and he sends Polly a gift, sends her like this, um, sends her a gun or of some sort, a pistol, it wasn't no pistol, gun, and um, she puts it back, but it's, I thought for a minute that she was going to take it out of the box. I mean, she still got time now, because, you know, Polly be having all kind of tricks up her damn sleeve, and you know, of course, when all of them were talking about a plan to come up with, you know, to the plan to come up to get Mac and Mel, but it came out from Rolla telling on damn Polly. Let Polly tell her own damn business. She don't, she don't need you. You know, but I guess he was trying to make a suggestion like, hey, Polly, why don't you just call your, your little boo down at the casino and he'll go dancing. Definitely. You stay talking to him, doesn't such a shut your ass up. All that shit you be doing and you don't be telling them, quit playing. So this is the game plan, y'all. Desna is going to go. She went to the governor, went to his office with Roller, and I hate when she do that shit. I hate when she just jump in the shit without damn having a fucking plan and then go back and have a plan because that shit just didn't work. The shit just ain't going to work. So she, the plan is to try to blackmail the governor, and we saw Miss Juicy Baby. You know she made her little guest appearance because Desmond she reached out to all her nail clients. You know she told um, what's her name, Miss Juicy Baby character, that she was gonna um had free nails for life. Shit, I wish I had me some free nails for life. What information you want? I'm gonna give it to you. Don't worry, I want my nails did too. So she got the information she needed for the governor. She goes to the governor's party, her and Jan, confronts him. That's when the governor tells her about Mac and Melba, about how it's not, uh, the casino's not on Native American land. The casino is not on Native American land. And um, Desna tells him that, hmm, I can clean your money for you. If there's ain't no hustler, he was like, oh, I didn't think you were. I thought you were, um, what he said, a Peter Pan, a Robin Hood. You know, she was like, no, we some real gangsters over here. We some real gangsters over here. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? I clean your money for you twice as something. Whatever she made that deal to clean his money up. So now, Desna getting in the big time. She finna be cleaning the money for the governor. And, um, you know, tell about the the money for the jail, for the prisons. So then they go about the bribing of the prisons. So then they go confront Mac and Melba. Ho, ho, ho. But little did Desna know that Mac and Melba had a plan for them too, huh? So Desna goes to Mac and Melba to, you know, hey, I know everything that y'all doing. And, you know, I want my casino back. Thank you. And I got the governor with me. She brought the governor with her. The governor now on her side. But I be goddamn. That damn Dean. So we want you to meet someone. Dean. Is it Stone Love? Dean Stone Love. So Dean turns around. He got the same damn outfit Mac got on. Oh, yeah. By the way, Mac, he was telling Dean about this island that they're going to have. Um, they're going to have an island for the students to go on. I, I, Lord have mercy. And Dean, he's so connected. I mean, he's so into it. He don't even see it. You know, Dean comes out dressed just like Mac. What the? Girl, shit now, honey. Ooh, y'all, 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 y'all. But see, Dean is going to be the one to, I hopefully Dean going to be the one to, you know, make that shit come together. He, he the only one that's on the inside that, they, that has his trust, that, you know, that really has his trust. Did he, does he know that? They tried to kill Desna? I can't remember. I kind of think he does. But I can't remember if he does or not. I don't know. He, should, he might be undercover. and We don't know it. Hmm. Y'all think Dean done. Dean ain't done. Shit. Dean smart as hell. He know what he got to do. Sometimes you got to go deep, deep, deep undercover. But it's going to be sad. And last but not least, y'all, quiet and... Or should we say pregnant Anne? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Um, the way she tells Desna, which I thought from last episode, well, I guess she didn't tell them. So, you know, they had to get the information on the governor. So, you know, they went to, you know, Quiet Anne's baby dad, French baby daddy. They go to him and blackmail him. He got a family and everything. And she was like, well, we can take a DNA test if you want to. How you know I'm, the, you know, the first thing, knock, I'm sorry, y'all. They knock on his door and, um, you know, he go this. We need information on the governor. We know you being blackmailed. So you need to tell us now. Are we tell it. God damn, Desna. I always, she's straightforward. I tell you, she comes straight for, she had no change. God damn it, the, no chaser. Shit. Just, uh, mm, just no chaser. Shit. Give it to me straight. Damn. So that's when um quiet and you know, she um tells him that, you know, I'm pregnant with your baby. And he got a whole family going on over there. Mm. What how do you know that is my baby? She said, we can take a little DNA test. <laughs> we can take a little DNA test. Take a DNA test out. So, um, so, um, so, you know, they get the information and Des is like, I'm, are you really pregnant? Oh my God, we're going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. I'm like, oh hell. So quite, and she, you know, she got to tell, you know, the detective girlfriend, and she, you know how us women are, you know, we want to get a feel for it first. We ain't just finna jump right on in there. And at first she thought detective, um, you know, she thought that her girlfriend was not, you know, didn't want a baby because she was in the car saying, you know, like, oh, we ain't got time for that. And it's like being in college again. So that wasn't the right time, huh, quiet ass. So they went and got something to eat. And um, that's when she finally told her and. You know, detective girlfriend was like, I need, you know, some time or whatever. Then, then detective girlfriend came back and said, will you marry me? And she couldn't believe it. She was like, oh, I was just saying that because, you know, the thing with the adoption, you know. But I really do, you know, want a baby or whatever. 
So good for them. They're about to have a little one. And it's it's always good to put a little kid on the show. It's kind of cute to have a little, you know, a little kid on the show. So what y'all think about Dean? Do you think Dean could be really undercover? Because I mean, that right now that's the only thing that would make sense. I really hope he is. But when he finds out, it's not gonna be pretty. And then by Desna washing the money for the governor, she is. She's going to be balling. <laughs> so, y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, let me know if you think that Dean is going to... If, if Dean is undercover, for one. Virginia probably ain't finna talk to EJ. That's the done deal. But will, will Matt turn against Melba? And who are they ultimately working for? I forgot that part again. So, all right. Till next time, y'all. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>